Song Seng Wun. He is a regional economist at CIMB Research, one of our top China economic forecasts, at least according to Bloomberg data. So it does seem like the medicine's working at the moment. Well, to some extent, uh, quite true. We have seen, I suppose, um, base effect coming into play in terms of the headline numbers coming off. And I suppose the good thing is uh, with um, food prices stabilizing, you know, uh, we have seen that come off. But I think um, uh, towards the tail end of December, we did see a pickup in like pork prices, vegetable prices. I think we, that's related more to festive uh, fa uh, reason with the Chinese New Year being earlier this time around. And, um, but nonetheless, you know, it's still heading in the generally right direction. So certainly for the policy plan, uh, they can focus more on growth rather than inflation still. Exactly. So it does give them more scope mm. to perhaps uh, inject mm. more liquidity into the system, ease monetary Indeed. policy here mm. as well. What do you think the policy response is mm. going to be? Well, they'll be watching out for you know uh, further headline numbers in terms of, say, the, the next batch of uh, the, the, the P PMI numbers. Uh, it'll be a little bit more tricky because, we, as we said before, we've got uh, Chinese New Year and therefore that could distort the, the readings a little bit. But if we don't see too big a fall in terms of the January one, mainly because of the sh a shorter well, working month itself, I think uh, there will be a little bit more relief. But it's much more, I suppose, numbers subsequently, whether they drop off uh, on the back of uh, declining uh, export orders, etc. Uh, and that would basically shape, I think, their policy response of how much they need to support the local economy from the impact of weaker external demand. Exactly, but what about also, mm. you know, the, that trade surplus number we had the other day, which was a bit of a shocker, at least it uh, was way, mm. way uh, more than actually had been anticipated. How does that factor into what we're seeing on the inflation side? Well, again, on the import side, um, I suppose, yes, headline basis um, may have been a little bit smaller than expected. Uh, year on year, in particular, it dropped off much more than we thought on, uh, in, in the December month itself. But nonetheless, it's still um, second highest, I think, in terms of the uh, import for the month uh, itself. Certainly, I think certain items inside there, perhaps uh, the slowdown in construction-related rela activities relating to the imports of, say, uh, certain uh, construction-related materials may have been much more than anticipated. So um, nonetheless, I think we still expect uh, import growth to, out to outpace uh, export growth. So certainly, I mean, in terms of those pressuring China to uh, you know, keep the pressure on the RMB itself, I think they will suddenly say, hey, look, we are doing our best in terms of driving consumption. I think uh, this year is still about adding the Chinese authority and uh, keeping uh, domestic consumption sort of going uh, through more specific targeted measure. So I think we are not too worried on the consumption side, but to some extent, the extent of the slowdown in external demand on the local economy, which perhaps is the one that's still worth waiting and watching out for. Well, exactly. And uh, we, of course, saw figures mm. out of Germany showing a, a slight contraction for the economy there. Well, you know, mm. many people talking yeah, about yeah. a recession in the EU. And the EU is, of course, uh, the biggest trading partner that China has. Uh, but I didn't realize that the correlation, mm. and you've done some work on this, was quite as, well, quite as uh, yeah. large as it is compared to, uh, you know, the correlation with U.S. growth. Yes. Yes, I suppose one must uh, be careful on, on that side, it's assuming everything else constant. U.S. though the largest uh, economy in the world, but Europe as, as, a, as a group co collectively, I suppose, account for slightly more trade with uh, China itself. So this is where we are a little bit more worried. I think the policy planners are also as well in that because it's more correlated in terms of the, China, of the uh, European growth uh, with an impact on uh, in the Chinese economy, if they were to see growth over there slowing down much more significantly over the coming uh, month, they would do perhaps a little bit more on the local front uh, to just offset the, the impact from the drag or from Europe. Uh, Seng Wen Song, thank you so much for mm. joining us.